Greetings fans, friends, and family. Your crafty diva cat here with another video in our quick Christmas gift crafts series, the basket weave dishcloth. Now, dishcloths are a pretty common gift for holidays, house warmings, all sorts of different events, and everybody has different patterns that they like. The most common by far is the corner to corner knitted dishcloth, but I like to make mine a little bit differently. I make mine in a basket weave pattern that makes them thick enough that they can also be used as a trivet. And the pattern is pretty enough that it can be extended to be used in placemats, table runners, or other applications. To give you a close up look of the pattern, you can see how the stitches appear to move in and out in a basket weave. It's two sided, the same in the front and the back. And it looks absolutely beautiful in a self-striping or ombre yarn. This is a self-striping lime stripes from Bernat. What you want to do is use 100% cotton worsted weight yarn and an aluminum size H crochet hook. This is super easy to do and I can show you how to do it in just a couple simple steps. First thing you're gonna do is chain 28 stitches and then double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. That first chain three that you skipped at the beginning is gonna stand in for your first double crochet stitch here and throughout the rest of the pattern. You're going to double crochet in every chain stitch across the foundation row. And then when you turn, you're gonna start the pattern, which you can see I've started to work in here. You turn chain three, again, to stand for your first double crochet. And then you're gonna start doing alternating front loop and back loop double crochet. So, or front, pardon me, front post and back post double crochet. So what you're going to do for front post, pull this last one out because it was a front, is you insert your hook beneath the bar of the previous row's double crochet on one side and it comes out on the other. You pull through and you complete your double crochet as you would normally. And then for back post double crochet, you insert your hook from the back to the front around the post and back through so it goes through completely. Pull your stitch through and complete your double crochet as usual. Now it's going to start pulling the stitches forward and back from your first row as you can see there. So you don't have to worry about your first row just being straight double crochet all the way across because the pattern stitch actually pulls them up and back into the basket weave. When you reach the end of a row, you just double crochet in the chain three that stands for your first double crochet, then chain three and turn again. You keep it even on the edge because when you do the single crochet edging at the end, then it works really nice and you don't have to worry about it laying unevenly. So when you're going back the next time, what you're going to do is do a front post on the ones that are in the back and a back post on the stitches that are pulled towards the front so that it creates that in and out weave. It's really easy to do and you can complete about one and a half of the regular dishcloth size with a beginning chain of 28 with a one and a half ounce Bernat ball or you can finish two of these with a two ounce cotton ball. And of course, you can change the size if you like. I never count the rows as I'm going up. I keep working in the in and out pattern until when I fold it, it creates a perfect triangle corner to corner. That way you know you've got a square. Then I just turn and single crochet evenly all the way around the edge with one single crochet in each stitch across the top and the bottom and two in each side of the double crochet across the sides. That makes it hold its shape really well with the single crochet border, and it gives it a really pretty finished edge, unlike sort of the raw edge that you get if you just leave it otherwise. You can work one of these up in less than 30 minutes for a gift, which is really fast, and if you're really good, you can work them up in less than 20 minutes. And that's our basket weave dishcloth. For more quick Christmas gift crafts and other crafts such as crochet, and altered books check out crafty diva cat on facebook and twitter as always thanks for watching and happy crafting